why? <laughs> Hi everyone, I just sent a message and it said that an error occurred while I, you know, while I was sending the message, but now I see that it was actually sent. And okay, Ooh, that we're live, we're live. <laughs> I can hear myself speak. Hi everyone, good evening. I'm just going to push this a little bit back. The further away it is from me, the better. Which, which way do I move? Or maybe move it a little bit this way. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, that's a better, better setup. Hi everyone, hi Stefania. How are you this evening? Who else is with us today? I'm feeling a little bit cold. Maybe I'm just like feeling a bit run down. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. So it's very unusual for me to feel cold. I usually like open my windows really kind of wide in the middle of winter. And everyone who comes like, you know, uh, like to me, to my place, they always complain that it's cold. But now I'm feeling like a little bit cold tonight. Okay, I hope I'm not coming down with anything. Hi, Fabio, how are you doing, Ilaria? Hi, how are you doing? Good evening to you too. And Daniela Viola, always lovely to see you. And Laura and Mohammed, are you Mohammed Shapawi? Good to see you. Good evening to you too. Okay, let's just give this a couple of minutes. I'm just going to check if we are live on YouTube too. Because earlier I had an error on YouTube and then we'll get started straight away. Okay. Um, who's with us? Hold on. Sorry, just give it a couple of minutes waiting for people to come online. Just checking YouTube. And who else is with us today? Okay, we have Daniela M and we have Marco. And I had said hi to Laura, so that's good. And now let's see if we're live on YouTube as well. Just going to check my uh, videos. Okay, my videos, let's see. I should be live there. Okay, we're live there as well. So I think we'd better get started. Hi, Roberto, my darling, how are you doing? <laughs> um, okay, we'll get started. Before we start with Taboo, I did kind of deceive you a little bit. Let's talk about something interesting, okay? And then we'll play taboo. So this is like your reward if we have like a good debate first. And the debate I want to open up today is, is it better to be poor and honest or rich and dishonest? What do you think? Uh, Mohammed is from Malaysia and it's 3 a.m. Goodness, you are up until really late. Good, good for you. I hope you can sleep in tomorrow. I can't because I'm starting like, you know, early tomorrow. But hey, no worries. Hi, Angelo. Uh, so our question for today, is it better to be honest and poor or to be dishonest and rich? Which would you prefer to be? Or which do you think is better, okay? So let's have a debate, just for a few minutes, and then we'll play Taboo. Oh, it's still telling me it's an error in me posting a comment, but you're getting it. So Daniela saying it's definitely better to be poor and honest, according to me. So in my view, it's better to be poor and honest, is what Daniela is saying, that's Daniela M. Hi, Luca, how are you doing? Nice of you to have joined us. How many are we today? Good 30 on Facebook. Please hit the like or the love button as you like. Okay, it's better to be rich. <laughs> That's good, I like this one. I like this one, Laura. Uh, better to be rich and honest, okay? So it's kind of like pick and choose. Uh, Tiziano, hi, how are you doing? Hi, on the tube, the chat is out of order. Oh dear, what is happening on the tube? Why is the chat not working? I'm just gonna check, okay? So, I can see, comments are turned off. Chat is disabled. Why is chat disabled? <laughs> God, okay. Okay, I don't know what's happened there. So, I may just have to, I don't think I can do anything about it now. Um, bear with me just one second while I try and sort this out. Thank you very much, Tiziano, for um, 
alerting me to this. I'm just going to check if I can do anything about this live streaming. Okay, here we are. So let's do that. And let's do edit. Can we edit it? And can we do anything about the settings? Okay, sorry guys. Small hiccups. And now, why is it saying enable live chat? Yes. I, it doesn't let me do it. It won't let me do it because it's live. That shouldn't actually happen at all. So guys, if you have problems, commenting join us on facebook and then i'll check tomorrow why it won't allow me to enable the live chat it's usually always enabled okay sorry about that we'll crack on with the lesson so let's see what everyone's saying everyone's saying uh rich and honest <laughs> rogero hi so that's stefania p is saying rich and honest i can't comment on youtube i don't know what's happened why it has disabled uh, the live chat on YouTube, but I will check it out for tomorrow. I'll make sure it works before the live streaming. Once we start streaming, it doesn't seem to be allowing me to make any comments. Okay, so is uh, uh, saying Richard Honest uh, and Sebastiano is saying Richard Honest. Hi, I'm I'm fine, thank you. It's be better to be rich on the inside. Is saying Giuseppe uh, dishonest and rich because it's less difficult to be honest and rich in the future. So this is what Mark was saying. It's di difficult to be rich if you're honest. So you may have to just end up accepting being dishonest. Um, have the money to survive, honestly, is Andrea. Is what, what you're saying, hi, Andrea. Uh, outside as well, why not? Can't Fabio join us on Facebook? Yeah, he will definitely join us on Facebook. Fabio, I'm glad you've moved here. He's now with us. Maybe because of the title, Taboo, maybe. So YouTube, like said, what are they playing? What are they up to? Okay, Ilaria saying, I prefer to be poor and honest instead of dishonest. Instead, you're missing the A. Uh, we couldn't know what will happen into our future. We can't pass our life to defend ourselves. Honestly, Rich is saying, my Roberto, but I know Roberto is a very honest person. So, um, you know, he manages to do both. Um, so, so, I mean, but what's in that statement? So the statement is, is it better to be honest and poor or dishonest and rich? I mean, why do they have to be mutually kind of exclusive? And as most of you like have correctly said, why can't you be rich and kind of honest at the same time? Are we saying, so when we say this, is there like really an assumption that you can't be rich if you are honest, just like you know, one of the commenters just said, I'll just say, uh, Marco, Marco, Marco C said it's difficult to be um, kind of honest if you want to be rich. Is that true? Yeah, Fabio, I did see you. Hi, Vincenzo. So, is it true, Antonino? Hi, everyone. It's better to be rich and honest. Yes, everyone is saying that. But is it possible? Can you be rich and honest, or can you be honest and become rich? Or in order to join the ranks of the rich, do you have to play little games and you have to know who to corrupt and you have to know who to cheat? Is it like always a zero sum game that we have to play in order to become rich? What do you think? Is, it, is that what we're basically saying when we ask, would you rather be poor and honest or rich and dishonest? Why is then assumption? that you can't be poor, or sorry, you can't be rich and honest. Why? What's happening? What's our world come to? Okay, let's see. Every time I comment, it keeps telling me, oh, that's on YouTube. Okay, okay, I get it. So it posts the comment here, but it tells me an error on YouTube. Okay, Anthony, you're saying, if you have good heritage, you can. So if you inherit, if you have good, good inheritance, okay, you have good inheritance yeah someone else has worked and now you can reap the benefits you know but like there are some people like me who will never inherit anything and i wish you know my mother and my family a long and ha happy and healthy life but once you know their time is up i know i'm not ever going to inherit anything and i somehow know i'm not never going to get rich either so i i guess i belong to the category of people who just think well 
you know, richness belongs to someone else. I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, like work for the rest of my life and make decent income. And I'm happy with that. And I don't tend to think about money as much as I think about my values and, you know, and like other things that matter a lot more to me. But sometimes I think, well, maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should just be more practical. Maybe I should be more realistic. I should be less idealistic. I'm doing it all wrong. What do you think? Am I doing it all wrong? Chris, if someone can be dishonest and sleep, well, but I can't. Good. I like this. It has to be something that you can live with. I agree. It's whatever your, your uh, conscience allows you to do. Yeah. So you have to be able to look in the mirror and say, the person that I see is a person that I like and respect. And it's the person that I want to be. I agree with that. I definitely identify with that, Chris. And <laughs> Laura said we belong to the same club. Good. So we can go like, you know, on same holidays together. And we'll be like, I'm going to the Caribbean five star, whatever, luxury resort. So it's so where we can go like camping together or something. <laughs> Fabio is saying it's very difficult. That's why I decided to be rich inside. Uh, you know, Fabio, for a moment, I thought I decided to be rich. And I thought we have a rich friend, everyone. And then I went inside. But we like your richness inside. It's, it's very valuable. We need more people rich on the inside. Uh, Dan Daniela M., quite frankly, if you have an honest soul, you carry on believing in your values regardless of economic, of economic status, yeah, or like, you know, economic ambitions. That's really nice. That's really, like, true. I think if you spend a lot of time reflecting on who you are and who you want to be and what you value in life and what's important, then you do kind of then in the end make a decision between the things you will pursue. I mean, you know, I think you can definitely become rich and be honest. I mean, I know, quite, you know, quite a few people who've made good money being completely honest, but you sacrifice other things. So I think it's also not, you know, not maybe completely, I don't know, like um, accurate to speak just in terms of honesty, but other things we might sacrifice to make a lot of money. And then what you really get out of it. I, I think like one thing really hit me when um, a few, like six years ago, I saw for the first, first person, someone die, pass away. And I looked at them as they lay there. And I thought, that's it. Like your life ends and you're not taking anything with you. You're not taking anything, just like the suit you're wearing. That's it. And so what is all this for? Like this kind of like running around, earning lots of money, having lots of money in the bank account. I mean, it's good if you spend it. That's nice. But some people make money and then they don't spend it. And it's like, what, what's the point? So yeah, that kind of made, did make me reflect a lot. Okay, let's see. Uh, Andrea is saying it depends on what you mean with dishonest. I think it's only about something criminal. It's also about uh, sustainability, for example. Yeah, like how rich do you need to be? And also, like, you know, dishonesty could be that, you know, it may not be that you engage in, like, criminality, but maybe, like, you know, you try to get an advantage over your competitors. Maybe you try to uh, bribe your way to, um, to richness. Maybe you try to make false claims about whatever you sell. So, like, you know, the benefits of your products or your services um etc cetera, etc cetera. so it could have so many different um kind of layers couldn't it and uh, daniela is saying it depends also on your education and life's models i agree totally i also think oh why oh my god why is antonina's comment on the screen how do i get rid of this hide okay i didn't realize we can do that you see the things you learn just kind of playing around with technology okay so antonina's comment well let's put it on the screen that's a good idea, actually. Poor people is usually rich in values uh, that help them carry on in their lives. So poor people are usually rich in values. While if you're born rich, you have no values, you don't respect people and spend lives surrounded by people who stay with you just for the money purposes. It depends. I mean, you know, you can be rich and have values. I've known some of these people as, as well. It really depends on, on, I think, like education. It's also what, uh, what Daniela Viola said. It's education. It's your um, kind of who you're role models are, uh, what your values are, how you live your richness. I mean, I've known rich parents whose daughters 
had to ask every time they wanted to buy a pair of jeans. And I also thought that was great. It's like good to teach your rich kids who are very privileged the value of money and that you can't just go and spend money just like that and that you have to earn something to spend it. And these girls always had a part-time job as well, even though they didn't really need to. Okay, so, um, and your experiences at Daniela, uh, it depends on different soul, life values, conscience, and each person says Vincenzo, okay? So I think you can see these things on the screen, can't you? I hope. Okay, I don't know. For some reason, I can see them. I don't know if you see them. Okay, Laura, money can't buy a clean conscience. No, it can't, but it can buy you a really comfortable life. Uh, especially in this period, we realize how small we are. Absolutely, Roberta. Amen to that. So, Roberta P, we are, you know, like very insignificant compared to the rest of the universe. Absolutely. Um, so, Daniela is saying, that's nice. Reading comments on the screen. There you go, Daniela. Your comment on the screen. <laughs> for that <laughs> okay and andrea is saying it's possible to put our comments on the screen sorry andrea maybe i didn't read carefully but now i see that that you have so <laughs> okay behind every richness there is a crime laura is saying it depends i also think like there is more there is you know there's sometimes infrastructure there is like an economic system that has to work so if you look at america for example where entrepreneurship works really well they have everything set up to encourage entrepreneurship they have a big market they have people who have the at attitude of spending money so you can like you know sell to a really big market that's willing to consume a lot so um, there's a lot of that as well as like in europe people tend to be more conservative tend to be more careful tend to be more like about keeping money under the mattress rather than spending it so it's very different as well as it like different um like economic models as well Ruggiero is saying, uh, we all experience the, the charm, so like maybe like the attractiveness of money at least once in a lifetime. It hasn't hit me yet, but I think when I'm really hungry, then I will chase the money uh, over other things. <laughs> okay, Titian is getting bored. He's ready with his finger smoking and he wants to play taboo. This is, um, this is taboo for you. I've got it all prepared. And Daniela, last one from Daniela is um, also the concept of richness could be different from each uh, other due to personal attitude to manage your money. Yeah, yeah, my attitude is earn less, spend less, live less, like less, less stressful life, okay? But then there are things that I do like. I like having a nice home. I like being able to go on holiday. I like being able to do things on the weekend with my children. So I wouldn't want to be at home because I can't take them like on an excursion or something. But I can't see why we should just work so hard to add so much more and then to spend so much more. Like, what for? <laughs> Let's live a simpler life, like, you know, simpler to some extent. Um, and money doesn't make you happy, but poor much less. Yeah, being poor doesn't make you happy either. It can make you pretty um, miserable if you live in the midst of people who are well off. But if you live, I think it's the comparison that's really bad. The comparison is terrible. And this is why people in developing countries come out much better in happiness measures because I think like they have kind of different, I don't know, like um, yardsticks, if you know what I mean. So, okay. Uh, no, Tiziana is saying, I'm not bored. Good, everyone. Tiziana is not bored. I did him wrong. And Roberta is saying, and then we'll start with Tabu. Many people live only for the job. And even if they're rich, they cannot enjoy the advantage of their money. Exactly. I'm totally with you on that, Roberta. There's so many people who are slaves to their jobs and they work, they work, they work, they work. And then what's left of their life is like that. There's so little left. There's so little, like so little living left that you kind of think, what's the point? You could drop death tomorrow and the company that you're working so hard for, if it's not yours, isn't going to care. Like, you know, they'll be sad for a day or two, but then they'll hire someone else and the world will continue going around and you haven't enjoyed your life. Okay, guys, taboo time, Tiziano. Everyone, are you happy? <laughs> Let's start with, oh, just drop the first cards. Um, let's see what we could check. Okay, this is very easy. Okay, very, very, very easy. And um, it's, 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so some people always complain. They are never happy. What are these people? If you had like an adjective to to describe them, always complain, never happy. Everything's always bad. Everything's always black. What are these people? Think about the opposite of plus, like plus and its opposite. And what could the word be? Uh, Andrea saying, could you please write something on paper and show it on the screen? It looks as if we can see on we can see it on the right side. Negative, good, Daniela. I don't understand what you mean. As if we can see on the right side. You mean like to see if it if it kind of like reflects properly the right side, as in like this? Can you read this properly? Negative. So couldn't have said minus five, okay? <laughs> minus no battery attitude. Could you read of that? Okay. Whiners, yeah, they're definitely whining a lot. Antonino, but Daniela Viola get, got it right. And the other Daniela, Daniela M. Yeah, they're feeling blue, Tiziano, but they're negative people. Minus, <laughs> good. Okay, so uh, this is um, negative. Good. Okay, next one, which is also a good one. It's uh, not a vegetable. It's something that has sugar in it. It's round and it's also like, uh, it's round and we have it in summer and it can have like a, uh, like, a, like a smooth skin and it can have like a little bit of a rough skin. It's slightly reddish, pinkish, and it has a lot of nice flesh. And sometimes we use this word to also describe someone's skin to say like if we say they have the skin and it means it's really beautiful so it's not a vegetable but it's the other kind of healthy thing we ought to be eating much more of it has a lot of um kind of like it's very aromatic peach thank you daniela i had run out of words to describe it so it's peach i couldn't have said soft juicy do i say juicy no i said flesh maybe uh, fruit mm. Melba and flavor. Good. Peach from Fabio as well. <laughs> lollipop. Yeah, we should eat more veg and lollipop. <laughs> okay, so next one. Um, <laughs> Antonino, this is for you. I'm just going to tease you a little bit. Uh, there's an English expression that says it's mm -mm, cats and dogs. And we are talking about what happens uh, when, like, what are we talking about? It's a uh, it's a meteo phenomenon. <laughs> peach, we've had the peach. Good one for me, please. We have to wait, Fabio. We wait for the like for the right season. So this is the good thing about Italy is like fruit is seasonal, which is amazing. Like yeah, good. Just the infinitive or the noun. Rain, Fabio. You get the point. <laughs> rain. There you go. This is rain. Okay, now this is something that we all. Uh, consume uh, mostly in the morning with our cappuccino so it's like a key ingredient and some people can't can't digest it and some people think they are kind of intolerant but you know we kind of still do it anyway like you know we like consuming this thing what is it it's it's not black yeah milk Daniela I'm just going to tear up a piece of paper so you can't see the next um, thing down. So it's milk, and I couldn't say bottle, drink, cow, or delivery. Okay, good. Um, okay, this is a good verb. Basically, it's something that you do. So let's say I take blue and I take purple to get, I'm sorry, I take blue and I take red. To get purple, what do I have to do to the blue and to the red? It's a verb. Not sugar, Tiziano, but we should eat much less sugar. I've just decided I'm going to, like, X the sugar totally, like, ax it, kill it. And I'll tell you in a month's time how I'm doing. Maybe tomorrow I'll eat a brioche. Mix, good, Antonino. So we mix, can't say blend, stir, combine, drink together. <laughs> okay, good. Um, and what's this? Oh, okay, good. 
It's something that little children are afraid of, even though it doesn't exist. Good, Tonya. Uh, Tonya, Tonya, you're back. How are you doing? How's your baby? Is your baby sleeping? Uh, I'm glad you've joined us again. Uh, okay, we had mix. So combine, add, they're all synonyms, but we were looking for mix. So something that children are afraid of that doesn't exist. And, you know, like you can say, if you do something like, you uh, make a problem then you can say i've like that okay not not a ghost so think about something maybe that wasn't living before and now like you know it's big it has one eye it's green it's like really uh, really kind of makes you afraid <laughs> good tonya i'm glad how old is your baby uh, okay, ghost, ghost, monster, Fabio. Good, Fab Fabio only just saw that. Monster, it's a monster. I could have also talked about Neo's song, Beautiful Monster, which is a very nice song. Okay, so uh, this is this is easy. No, I'm not going to say it's too easy. Okay, something, um, you know, the biggest thing that covers our body, we just said, like, you can have a peach, uh, thing of it and it would be very beautiful if you if you describe it as peach it can be light it can be dark and some like now it's really popular that people have like drawings on it and um, i don't know why maybe to be more individualistic i have no idea uh, but it's like a drawing yeah exactly daniela and it's a drawing like permanent that you do on this what is it and it's very popular when you go to the swimming pool in summer Everyone is covered in these, like you can't even see the original, like tattoo. Good, Daniela. It's a tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> tattoo. Okay. We had uh, Stefania, we had monster. That was the one. Okay. So, okay. This one, think about a big mammal, really big, with. Um, like has a really good memory um, and they have like two long kind of like teeth that people consider a luxury and they consider like something to make, I don't know, jewelry with or various other things, maybe medicine, maybe other things. And then they kill the poor animal to acquire this. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is, what is the white, um, you know, kind of material that we acquire from the, um, from the elephants, basically? Why they kill elephants to get hold of it, which is just, this is like incredible. So this is an example of pe people being completely criminal just to be, not even rich, just to make like a bit of money. So what is it? What's the elephant's ivory? Yes. Ivory, ivory, okay. Did I say white in my description? I Maybe I said white. Did I, did I lose a point? Oh my God, I lost this round if I said white. I can't remember, maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I did, <laughs> sorry if I did. Okay, everyone's saying uh, ivory, ivory, ivory. So fangs, uh, Giuseppe, is what um, like maybe a, um, a snake might have, okay? Okay, tasks, exactly. Okay, now this is uh, another word for a small kid, like very small. And this is maybe like it's a more formal word we use for it. So think about all the synonyms, synonyms you have for a little kid. Okay, we've had ivory, everyone's saying ivory, which is good. What's lad? Lad is a young guy, so it's not a child, okay? It's like maybe a guy in his teenagers, you know, early 20s. That's a lad, and he's usually badly behaved. Baby, okay, not baby, it's an it's a formal word. It's a formal word. You might also not kid him, <laughs> you might also like get it when you're checking in for the airline and they ask you how many seats for adults and how many or like you're buying a ticket and how many seats for the the little kid 
but it's a different one. It's one word. Uh, yeah, infant. Good, Daniela. That's the one. Infant. Can you see that? Infant. So I couldn't have said baby, newborn, child. Yeah. Did I say little again? Oh my God, what's happening to me? I'm so out of it today. <laughs> Did I say small or little? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if it's like if I said little and I should have said small, I like I lose. I lose today. You win. Everyone, everyone wins. Antoinette loses today. <laughs> Children. Okay, last one. I'm gonna read really carefully. Okay, so this is something that you have in your handbag, and this is where you keep your cash. <laughs> No, how can you guess? Well, infant, how can you guess? Well, um, Daniela did a great job. Um, okay, so this is something you have in your handbag, ladies, and you keep your cash in it and also your um, your plastic purse. <laughs> Good. Okay, so it's wallet for the gentleman and purse for the ladies, okay? And this time I didn't make a mistake. Yeah, Tiziano, it's wallet for, for the man and pass for the ladies. Okay, good. Uh, oh, this is good. This is something <laughs> without, without which, oh, I can't say it because it's the last word, okay. And so let's say you, um, you know, you like you want to go meet someone somewhere in a place that you don't know where it is, then the first place that you will look on Google is which application of Google will you look where that place is? <laughs> Where is it? Again, we're still getting wallets. We're getting lots of wallets. Wallets from people who um, value values and honesty over money. Maps, good Vincenzo. It's maps, okay? So road, country, world, atlas, lost. I was going to say the first example I was going to give you, like without this, I would get lost like walking around my own block. Okay, because I'm just terrible with orientation. Good. Um, okay, this one's interesting. Um, it's we all put them in text messages, and sometimes people respond only with these. What are they? <laughs> like they uh, show your, uh, uh, they show how you're feeling, or your reaction to something what are they called oh yeah it's it, this is one kind fabio emoticon very good vincenzo emoticons and antonino symbol letters punctuation smiley love i did good this time <laughs> she's ever saying love okay um okay so Michael, Michael Jackson sang this uh, very famous song, Man in the, it's also something that, um, you know, lots of people like to spend a lot of time in front of. What is it? The Michael Jackson song, Man in the, and, you know, it's an object we all have at home, yes, Fabio, <laughs> and we like to spend a lot of time in front of. It's a mirror, okay? Wall, see, reflection, looking glass, rear view. Okay, mirror, Fabio and Roberta as well. Okay, last one, and then we'll call it today. And Laura and Stefania, good. Um, okay, so uh, think about, it's um, something that you fight with. And especially in Japan, uh, you, will, you will kind of, it's part of the, culture and um like if you're really honorable then you commit suicide with it what is it it's really long and it cuts really badly what is it <laughs> i love jacko too stefania i even my my daughters now know michael jackson and they always ask me if michael jackson like every day almost they ask me is she more famous than Michael Jackson or is Michael Jackson more famous? Is Cleopatra more famous than Michael Jackson? Because like I showed them a lot of Michael Jackson and now they adore, adore they adore him. Okay, so that katana, it's we're looking for an English word and we're looking for an instrument 
Uh, so the instrument has to be in English. Sword. <laughs> That's the one. I like the Japanism. I lived in Japan for three months and I used to adore Japan. Um, but it's the English word we were looking for. Sword. Weapon, fencing, blade, sharp, knight. Okay, sword, 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 everyone. This is good. Harakiri. We've had, we have lots of Japanese uh, friends here. Okay, sword, also from Antonio. Okay, do you want the last one? Oh, go on then. For this one, okay, this one, we're going to change it a little bit. I'm just going to tell you one little phrase. And let's see if you can guess. It's something that in lockdown, probably we all wished we had. In lockdown, if you locked, like, you know, locked up inside of your home, at least I wished I had to get some sunshine. What is it? <laughs> this is all I'm going to tell you. And then we're going to call it a day. What is it? What do you wish you had? Maybe some of you have it. Maybe some of you don't have it. Well, think about uh, something that could be part of where you live. Freedom, freedom. I know. I wish we could. I know. I want freedom. I want to be able to leave my house without anyone arresting me. I would or like, you know, giving me a fine. I keep ranting about it. I keep saying, like, just let me wear a mask and disinfect my hands and go. Okay. Terrace, um, balcony, think bigger. Think garden. <laughs> Look, <at. laughs> I was going to say green. Look at Fabio, garden. Oh man, I wished I had a garden. I've got a tiny balcony. I don't like sitting on the balcony. It always gives me like the idea that only my, I don't know, my laundry ought to hang on the balcony. I wished I had a terrace, but God, do I wish like I had a garden. I don't have a garden. We don't even have a communal garden, which is a shame. We have like a small courtyard for the bicycles and for the rubbish bins, but not for kids to play. But yes, like between garden and freedom, I guess I'll choose my freedom. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I prefer my freedom. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure as always. I totally failed on the um, let's watch a movie together or like, you know, separately and then talk about it tomorrow. I totally failed. I've just had like a really busy week. I'm busier now than before the lockdown because I've had to organize my work differently. And then, of course, my girls are at home as well. And I kind of, you know, have to look after them. And I don't know about the other mums here, but I always feel guilty when my girls are at home and I'm working. And I feel like I'm setting such a bad example because I'm on the phone or I'm on the computer and I ought to set a better example to my children. And then I explain that we're working. They're not working. We're working. And it's all just a mess. So I need to get into Netflix, choose something interesting for you to watch. I've had one. Yeah, Giuseppe, I can see your comments. I don't know if you can't see comments. And I need to choose. And I think I had one good um, suggestion from Vincenzo, but I haven't had time to actually like relax and watch something on, on Netflix. Not that I have Netflix, but I will sign up for you guys. <laughs> and, um, and maybe we can talk about it on Monday. So you get the weekend to watch it. And we'll see you tomorrow, not on the weekend, not Saturday, not Sunday, but definitely tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to speak about um, like um, kind of ter terminology or words relating to food. So maybe like how certain food may be described in an English speaking country. So when we all have our freedom again and we can travel again and we can order food in a foreign restaurant, we know what we're ordering. So this isn't going to be about... Uh, I don't know, like, can I have a table? Please sit down because we've had that. We've talked about all of that. Now we're going to talk about when you look at a menu, what does this mean? What's this plate? What's in it? What does it look like? Yeah, I think that's what, what was requested. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto is saying uh, you work too much. I think it's half a complaint as well because recently, every time Roberto calls me, I'm like, I'm just about to start another thing like you know we'll speak later and then later it's like two hours later so i'll try and work a little bit less after the quarantine is over <laughs> all right taboo is a good game yes it's so much fun i definitely enjoy it uh, a hairdresser is welcome as well as a gun laura do you know yesterday i cut my daughter's hair i did so i ordered a pair of scissors from 
Amazon and I cut my daughter's hair and it was okay. I don't think they're suffering, I hope. But I don't know how to cut my own hair. My own hair is becoming so like kind of like really, you know, it needs a good trim. Uh, but I don't know how, I don't trust myself with my own hair. My daughter's hair, fine. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed Taboo. Um, and have a, tomorrow we want to admit the blonde version. The problem is Antonina, when I put the blonde wig on and I look at myself with the blonde wig, I'm like, hmm, I should go blonde, but I can't. It would destroy my hair. So I will never again wear the blonde wig. Otherwise it will give me bad ideas. <laughs> thank you guys. And, um, Vincenzo will be back tomorrow. So tomorrow is Friday. Unless, you, are you traveling somewhere? Are you going somewhere? Tell us how you escaped. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock and then again on Monday. Okay. So Friday, yes. Saturday, no. Sunday, no. Monday, yes. Okay. And for Monday, God help me, I will send you something from Netflix to watch. When I like, when I have to, like, half an hour's time to just like browse netflix i will do and sorry i've been tardy with this thank you tiziana i'm glad people tell me keep your dark hair also because only recently did i go like back to being very dark so like for three years i had like highlights okay schiaritura, and then it really kind of damaged my hair and i thought no i want my natural hair color again and i'm glad people when people tell me like your hair color is fine i'm like okay i'm, I'm happy <laughs> Monday is it's Easter Monday. Okay, so do you want a day off? Do you want a day off on Monday? We'll talk about it tomorrow. You tell me tomorrow if you want a day off on Monday. Otherwise, we'll have, um, you know, we'll have a lesson. I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not religious, so I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, you can let me know if you want a lesson on Monday, okay? And if you don't want a lesson tomorrow, let me know as well. Yes, we are live streaming. Anyone religious? Anyone doesn't want a lesson tomorrow? Do you want a day off tomorrow? <laughs> like, no difference for me. In the UK, Good Friday, which is tomorrow, Good Friday is a holiday, so people don't work. But I, uh, like, I will work. Oh, it's no problem. Okay, so Gabriela, better late than never. And no, 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 not me. Good, good, good. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Who's, you know? Okay. <laughs> Monday, sure. Okay. So we'll, we'll chat. We'll chat. We'll exchange views. No days off. I'm addicted. Good. That's what the teacher wants to hear. So I'll see you tomorrow. And then tomorrow you can confirm if you want a lesson on Monday or not. Otherwise, I'll just watch a film on Monday <laughs> or something. <laughs> bye, everyone. Have a nice evening. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Daniela. Bye, Daniela. And Daniela, second Daniela. Daniela M. Daniela V. Bye, bye.